Hi Barry, uh, you, you're synonymous with the games business and before that I knew you from your time doing pioneering, I suppose, multimedia in, in various things like telecoms. Um, Story Toys is uh, the, new, the new venture that you're involved in, you've, you're, you're, you're uh, leading the company, you're, you've raised money for the company. Um, it's, it, 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 it's a home play for digital media. How, how would you describe its uh, unique offering? We're, we're, we're an interactive, um, interactive toy publisher, effectively, for, for children, uh, combining books and toys into one product, hence the Story Toys name. The company was actually founded by, you remember my, my, uh, myself and John Dennehy's venture, um, Upstart Games. So the, so the two technical leads of that, Aidan and Kevin Doolan, brothers, started the company in 2008 as a game publisher, and then hit upon this idea of creating a, an interactive book technology that would allow children to you know, both learn from uh, and, and enjoy the experience of, of reading books on interactive devices. So um, I got involved in, in, in 2010 as chairman. We raised some money from Enterprise Equity um, and, uh, and Leaf, uh, um, Leaf Investments and Enterprise Ireland um, late last year, and I came on board full time then. So. Yeah, I suppose, first of all, you probably never, if someone asked you a few years ago, did you think you'd be in the toys business? I would have laughed at you, but what? Funny enough, I mean, the games and toys businesses have tracked, and, and there's, a, there's a big um, overlap between them if you, to draw the, if you draw the Gantt chart of them. And when I was in, in, in Namco Bandai, Bandai is one of the largest toy, uh, toy businesses in the world, so it makes a lot of sense that the digital, the digital toys come to the fore, particularly with, with a much younger audience. So some of our products, as I'm sure you're aware, um, are designed for 18-month-olds uh, and, uh, and above, which is never a demographic I thought I'd be targeting. And uh, just give us a show of some of the technology there. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, we all know these devices. They're called iPads, and there's all kinds of flavors of them. I, I, like, is this? Is this? I mean, you have an iPad there, but is this? Does this translate across to uh, Android as well? Yeah, um, this product won't be out on Android for uh, for another uh, for another few weeks yet. But actually, we, our products are currently available on the Samsung platform as well. And um, this is a product we're releasing tomorrow, so this is a world exclusive. Um, and I'll just hit uh, read to me here. So the idea was um, to create, firstly, to recreate the the tactility of a book. Um, a lot of um, e-books and e-readers, kind of, you just text on a page. We wanted to create that substance that a book has. So you'll see it's fully 3D, the page turns are 3D, but then we've got games built into the pages as, as pop-ups. So the children have to then do things. So we can see it's all, it's full 3D there. So the idea is we find the frog, and actually there's an educational undercurrent here as well. Um, designed to teach children how to learn how to sequence things properly. So if we help the frog over, and then we'll be rewarded at the end. <laughs> Can't really hear the voiceover very well, but, and we've a number of, we've a number in the Grimm's line, and then we also have the, for, for the younger children, the series called Farm 123, and you can see that's a much, it's a different kind of presentation, it's a board book, and it's got physics in it, so things bounce, and to help children learn to count from an early age. So this is what we're doing. And uh, you, you are, you're also involved in the Games Ireland Association. Um, this is kind of perfect for what I mean of the digital media play. We Irish people, we not only can make technology, but we also write and we make music. To see those ingredients playing a part and being united now in, in future digital media industries. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Games has always taken on, taken on many components. And, you know, our team is pretty much 50-50 creative uh, and technology. And the co-founders built a platform that enables artists to actually create this kind of content very, very easily. We use it entirely internally. A good example I say about us engaging with the, with the creative industry is uh, last, uh, I think it was last January we advertised to hire a project manager. We ended up hiring a children's author instead because um, he had the, the skills to be able to product manage properly and, and understood the content and the sensitivity around creating content for children, the learning side of it, and the actual project management skills were a very, very easy add-on for him after that.